Stress and injuries from war can take a toll on veterans decades after their service to the country ends. In tonight's Zevely Zone, Jeff meets a retired Navy pilot who has a new reason to smile. When you spend time around veterans, it's clear the freedom they earned isn't free. But fortunately, their dental care is. The year was 1966 when an enemy soldier used the butt of a rifle to knock Lieutenant Commander Ed Graham's teeth out. Boy, it didn't feel good. Graham's fighter jet had just been shot down over North Vietnam and he was fighting to stay alive. When I got down in the jungle and I shot a person face to face, I cried and threw up. The blow to Graham's mouth led to the pilot losing all of his teeth, a dental battle that finally ends today. Human beings need to have teeth. Human beings should not suffer in silence. Five years ago, Dr. Charles Zahidi spent a half a million dollars of his own money to launch his nonprofit group called Dentists for Veterans. Now he's doing $70,000 worth of work on my mouth for absolutely nothing. The organization just purchased a mobile dental clinic that will now travel to veterans like Ed. He said, I do this for veterans because you guys are the ones that made this country free for me to be here. We're going to go first with the upper jaw. Dr. Zahidi says he grew frustrated seeing veterans suffer, so he helped these men and women of action with action. If I don't do it, who would have done it? There are 140,000 dentists in the United States, okay? Somebody had to do it. 50 years after losing his teeth, Ed Graham has a new smile that feels... Wonderful. Yes. Give me somebody to bite. <laughs> the naval pilot is flying high again and already moved on to his next mission. Now I have to learn how to say thunderstorm <laughs> and Mississippi. <laughs> is that ever tough? <laughs> the only downside to getting a new set of teeth at the age of 75, but that seems to be flowing off your tongue quite well. Well, I, I've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Sevely, CBS News 8. And that's a beautiful smile. Dentists for Veterans is looking for donations in order to help even more veterans. If you'd like to learn more about the organization, click on the hot button at cbs8.com. My name is uh, Dr. Jeff Kinseth, and I practice in Dana Point, California. And I've been practicing for 25 years. I've been to many surgical courses in my life, and uh, I find Dr. Zahidi's course one of the best. Um, I've been extracting teeth, placing bone grafts in, in sockets uh, for years and years, and then sending patients off to the specialist to get implants. And I feel like I'm doing all the hard work and I should be placing the implants. And uh, this course has prepared me extremely well for placing my own implants. Um, I feel comfortable and confident now that I have the ability to do that for my patients. I, uh, with Dr. Zahidi, I'm going to call him Charles because he is a uh, very fun uh, person to be with um, and very excited about and passionate about his, um, his uh, work here. One of the things that he does and I feel so fortunate to be a part of is treating veterans. Um, I have always felt that uh, the military and the veterans are the most important part of our country and I feel extremely proud to be helping out veterans uh, with this continuing edu education course that I'm uh, improving their lives and improving my continuing education at the same time. Um, I feel very proud about doing that. I, I wasn't really feeling very comfortable going to other countries um, placing implants uh, in a foreign country that I really wasn't uh, able to determine whether the, the techniques were proper or um, what the guidelines were over there. I felt very comfortable staying in the United States with Dr. Zahidi's course, uh, especially treating our own veterans. Um, that was the main reason why I chose this course. I, had uh, I highly recommend this course to any um, general dentist or specialist who uh, wish to place more implants, learn about bone grafting, um, and just hire their uh, education. Dr. James Ruppelman, I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I have uh, came to the course offered by Dr. Sahidi based off of 
the need for me to learn how to place implants. Uh, it has been a desire of mine for some time. Uh, this course comes highly recommended. Uh, it's a very uh, informative course, hands-on, which is most important. Uh, we will go ahead and uh, it's demonstrated to us not only the aspects of performance in, in placing implants, but as well as to any possible complications and or uh, possibilities to uh, eliminate those potential of, uh, let's say, lesser outcomes. Dr. Zahidi is very informative. Uh, he makes us all uh, work within the uh, realms of the course so that we maximize our education. We do work on veterans. I also am a veteran, therefore I feel honored to be working with my brotherhood of other veterans, which Dr. Zahidi has also emphasizes to us during the course here as to how uh, communication is dealt between patients and the doctor and how acceptance can be made. Uh, very informative on all aspects of dentistry. I'm Apo Matasio. I'm from St. Helena, California. I've been to several different courses sponsored by other implant companies and found this one to be really fantastic hands-on treatment for cases of complication in order to make simple cases in my own personal practice and life on a daily basis easy. This has been a fantastic course. Dr. Charles Tahiti is very friendly. He leaves a lot of time after the hands-on portion in order to do a question and answer which is open, uh, friendly, approachable, practical, and applicable. It's a fantastic course as well to be able to treat our veterans who have done so much for our country and for ourselves to be able to be here and practice in this manner. I recommend this course highly to anybody, especially generalists, who want to further themselves in their practice course for extractions, complications, bone grafting, suturing, uh, and even periodontal issues that you may encounter on a day-to-day -day basis and that you don't expect. Another important practical, cor uh, practical portion of this course is learning how to protect yourself, especially here in California where your license is so hard to obtain, things like informed consent, pre- and post-operative instructions, so forth and so on. Hi, I'm Dr. Dina Marcus and I practice in Sonoma and um, we, this is a great course. Um, Dr. Zahidi has been very helpful and hands-on um, training to help us deal with some difficult cases um, of implants and extractions and grafting. Um, this is the second hands-on course that I've taken um, and it's wonderful to be able to practice um, and do great job for our veterans at the same time as um, get very practical hands-on training in the United States. Um, we do a few courses um, and this one was definitely beneficial to be able to do good treatment for our veterans as well as um, good hands-on training for us safely. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dr. Abigail Cho and I'm from San Francisco. Um, I've been taking a lot of bone grafting and implant um, hands-on courses and theory courses because 60% um, of our patient population is geriatric patients. So um, I've been really interested in placing implants. I've been um, really fortunate to take this wonderful course. Um, one day it was theory and then two days it was placing implants on patients. And Dr. Zahedi Charles was uh, with us throughout every step. He's very passionate and um, it was very exciting to, to place uh, implants on live patients in a very uh, strategic manner but also um, with so much pride and, and thankfulness to the veterans. Um, so this has been by far the best uh, program I've been to and I think I want to continue to, to be participating in this, um, this dentistry for veterans. So it's pretty much changed my life, not in implant dentistry, but also in my view of, of providing my service to this country and to people um, that have served our country.